So Sunday morning, so I thought I'd get some jobs done in the van. The handbrake, don't even talk to me about the handbrake. Last year, changed the, the discs, sorry, the drums, should I say, and the brake shoes, which are internal, change the pads, etc. I just never find it, I've even changed the handbrake cable, I just never find you get great performance out of it. Just really, really struggle to get it perfect in this van, and I don't know why, it just never seems to lock. So, anyway, I'm going to go jack your van up, because this is the sort of thing I do on a Sunday when I'm not away in the van. True Scottish fashion, as soon as I get my, my dirty clothes on, it starts raining, but it's, I think it's only going to be a slight shiver, so I'm going to push ahead anyway. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we'll see what's going on and try and get these adjusted because I just need them to bind and lock without dragging too much so I'll go and see what's going on First job to do is to remove the the brakes so you need a 13mm spanner or socket Tie this up out the way so it doesn't fall off and get damaged. Then we need to remove the carrier, these bolts at the back, so we need to figure out which size of socket those are. 22. Seems to be the size. So see how tight these are. Because I've been working in a van for a few years, everything's got copperies on it, so it usually comes out not too bad now for me. Yours might not be the same. off. So as you may have worked out on these fans, there's the handbrake is separate from the, the braking system. The brakes, the four brakes are on discs and on pads, but the handbrake on the rears, the rear wheels are on shoes and uh, the, the drums, so these are inside. The, Connect internally with the drums. So on the outside here, there's I'll just bring this round to show you. You need a 12 millimeter socket. We're undoing these now.
once you do that, this should come off. Come back a look. So what I've noticed, that's the shoe material, which is it looks thin, but it's it's fine because it's only holding the braking position. What I've noticed is one of these clips has been dragging. And I don't understand why. So I need to strip this out and see what the hell's going on. Just before I strip all this out, I'm just going to show you something. There's an adjustment wheel here. That's to tighten or slacken the hammer rate. Now, I've got the wrong size of screwdriver. What you do is you pass the screwdriver through the, the, the hole for the wheel stud. And you can turn this little wheel so that the distance between there becomes greater or less. And that pushes the shoes out against the, the, the inside of the drum. That's how you adjust them once they're back on. So, that's the bit you're adjusting it with. Okay, so, right folks, listen, I'm not a mechanic, so don't always copy me, but what I've done is I've sanded across the width of the, the brake shoe, just for about a 60 grit. And I hope that it sort of helps bind uh, onto the, the inside of the shoe. We'll see if it, it helps or not, I don't know. I'm just trying things here. Like I say, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, when I get stuck, my, my neighbour across the road is a retired mechanic and he comes over and helps me. So, uh, Big Cammy is his name. And we'll hopefully not need Big Cammy's help today, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep going around and see how we go on. So, before you reassemble, what you want to do is clean all this in here. That's the the ABS ring, it just gets clogged up with dirt. So let's just get a rag and give it all a, a nice clean inside before you start to reassemble it. Okay, so this is the passenger side, the near side of the van. You've got to make sure that these springs are put in the correct position. If you don't, you'll have trouble later. Don't put them in front, don't put them around the other way. Got to go that way. I've put a bit of copper these just on the thread in there just to help that when you adjust that up and down. That's your adjustment piece. Okay. So we'll refit this to the to the wheel now. That's your handbrake cable in there. So we just need to attach that onto that. That's how you adjust it once the wheel up, the, wheel, the, the wheel's on and the hub's on. So I've reassembled everything. So you put the brake, the carrier's back on. Put the brakes back on, check the, the sliders for movement, bit of copper is in there, uh, sorry, bit of grease in there should I say. Uh, reassemble bit of copper is at the bottom of the pads and on the back of the pads. Just tell you a bit of movement there. So I'll go to the other side and then I'll adjust the cable and see if it's any better. Again, that's your arrangement on this side. You've got your adjuster there, your shoes, your retaining clips, your springs. And that operates a handbrake. Right, 
just want to show you this. This is the the carrier for the, the brake pads. Now these are the sliders. They you've probably seen on one of my other videos when I did the front brakes, these should move up and down fairly easily. This one on this side is solid. So you need to take that off, clean it out, a uh, bit of emery paper and re-grease it, put it back together again. And it's usually the little rubber gaiters that let the dirt and the water in. There's probably a hole in it somewhere and it's just letting the, the water in. And then when that happens, your brakes are releasing so you end up running through the pads quicker and you're obviously drag and affecting your fuel consumption etc. So strip this off and clean it up. Slacking that nut off, slacking that off. That adjusts that as the rod goes to the back. with a, another adjustment point. Okay, so I've finished adjusting the handbrake towards the back of the van. Uh, you need a 13mm spanner and a 17mm spanner for that. I've adjusted it to the front of the van. You need a 19mm and I think a 22 maybe a 21, 22, 21 or 22mm to adjust the front. So those are done. I've got it to a point where it's just, it's okay. It's not dragging too much when the wheel's spinning. It's just sort of dragging a, a tiny little amount. And then I've got it on to maybe a, one, two, three, four, five clicks when I'm in the van. So hopefully that should do the job. Uh, the wheels are back on. Topped up the wheel nuts. Uh, they go to 160 newton meters on this van. Uh, and I've hopefully taken out all the bits. <laughs> Some things I forget. Got all my tools away, I think. The axle stands are away and the trolley jack's out of the way. And the chocks. I use these little chocks for Halfords in the front ends, they're quite good. So yeah, we just take it a wee drive and see, make sure it's not dragging too much and uh, I'll try it out in a few hills. So, I'll go and do this and I'll see how it goes. So, after I took the van for a test drive, the brakes weren't dragging too badly, I was quite pleased with that. And it was holding on sorry, slightly in, slight inclines. However, when I put on the steeper hills, it was uh, it wasn't holding brilliantly. Uh, I wasn't absolutely delighted with it. So I went to the motor factors and I picked up a, a new set of shoes, a new set of handbrake shoes, and also the a rear set of handbrake cables. So the, the two cables that go from each of the back wheels to the centre adjustment point. So I changed those over and I replaced those. Um, so for brand new uh, shoes. Through the exact same process as, as before. And I basically refitted all those. So once everything's, once you've reassembled the, the new handbrake shoes, you put the, the drum with the integral disc back on. You find, use a torch, find the little wheel inside to adjust the shoes and you put a screwdriver through the hole for the wheel studs. And you turn the wheel and adjust that so that the wheel is just dragging uh, ever so slightly, not, not too much. And once that's done, you can refit the, the brakes. Now, just check these sliders are okay. This is where you get problems. The, the brakes will, the pads for the, the, the rear brakes will, will, will bind on if your sliders are really moving. So just bolt them back on again. 
A little bit of copper is on the bolts just to help them. Tighten those up. Refit the rear caliper. This is the other end of the handbrake cable. It goes into a clip here and then it passes through. I don't even know if you can see that or not. There we go. Passes through there and then there's one for each side and then there's this bit in here. Which I need to undo again. Need to take this off the rod. And then that just slides in there like that. That's the two cables in position. And slide it back onto the rod, and that's your adjusting point. Tighten up the, the drum brakes or the shoes till they're just catching and no work and then the next point of adjustment's here and there's another point of adjustment at the front and I'll show you also. Need a 17mm spanner. Garage. It's the dreaded MOT day today. I say dreaded, to be honest with you. This garage that I use is absolutely brilliant. Um, I do a lot of more maintenance to the van, so I sort of see the MOT as a as a check of my own work really. I'm not a qualified mechanic, I'm not even an unqualified mechanic really. So the garage, the MOT check my work is the way I see it, make sure that I'm doing things properly and everything's as good as it should be, make sure the vehicle's safe and roadworthy. So heading up here now, the guy you use, the guy's really good, when he's finished doing his checks, fingers crossed, he normally lets me come in and have a look underneath the van on, when it's on the ramp, um, so I can just have a check of the water tanks and all the camper van stuff that doesn't really form part of the MOT, but I just want to sort of see uh, that, that everything's okay and that's all as it should be. So I'll head up here and do a bit of luck. I'll let you see the van and get its MOT done. All going well. So we'll catch you soon. Good. Uh, no surprises. It passed, so 
happy with that. The couple of advisories. So the two front tyres, they're sort of getting pretty worn and they're wearing on the inside edges. Now, I've, I've known about this issue for a while now, to be honest. Uh, the steering's pulling a wee bit to the left, um, so the van's needing the, the tracking looked at, uh, which isn't a surprise to me. So that's obviously wearing the tyres down. Uh, prematurely on the inside edge uh, so need to get a couple of new tyres in the coming weeks and need to get the van back up to the garage and get the tracking dealt with because it is becoming a bit of a problem actually when I'm driving I can sort of feel it pulling over a wee bit so yeah so I had a wee look underneath the van uh, as well and the exhaust I'm not He's not picked up on it in the MOT and he's not given me any advisories for it but the exhaust to me looks as if it's it's sort of working the way towards its, it's sort of the end if you like so end of it's, its life so I think the exhaust will probably need to be dealt with as well at some point in, in the coming year as well so yeah other than that it looks okay uh, not too bad for a van that's what, 13 years old now so Happy with that. So, got my, my pass certificate. So, we're, we're legal again for another year. And, uh, and get, get on with some other jobs in the van. Now, the, 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 the weather's nicer as well. We can maybe get some of the outside jobs, a, bit, a few more cosmetic jobs done as well. So, anyway, get home and uh, Catch up with you guys soon.